Okay, okay. So today I'm gonna to show you how to wear a black smoky eye without looking like a panda. Or just like having it totally overwhelm your face. Uh, I don't typically do the intro like when I've already got the thing on, but the reason that I'm doing that today is because it's, you, you start with your eyes. We gotta start with our eyes. It looks like murder halfway through, okay? It's just, it's not gonna look good at all because you're starting with your eyes. It doesn't start to come together until like halfway through. So just keep that in mind, okay? Also, I had food poisoning recently and I look like hell, so just don't judge me. Um, yeah. So if you've been struggling with the smoky eye, we're gonna do the thing where I'm like, okay, now we're gonna do the thing. Flip. It's actually, it's a combination of food poisoning. How many days ago was that now? It was Friday, today's Wednesday, and eating sugar. <sighs> I'm gonna do a video about eating sugar, okay? I know a lot of people have asked for it. Uh, bleh. We're gonna do our eyes first, all right? That's the first step. The first reason we're doing our eyes first is because we're starting off with black shadow, okay? Like, it's gonna get places, probably. Unless you're just a pro, and I don't consider myself a pro because I get that shit everywhere. Uh, so yeah, starting off with your eyes is number one. Number two is starting off with a black cream base. I'm gonna be using this one from House Labs. Uh, I was looking for my black base from About Face and I couldn't find it, but uh, any black base, uh, I think NYX has some if you're looking for drugstore versions, like they come in a little pot. They have like a white and a black, I believe. So any cream black base is what you want to start off with. It's going to ensure that your black shadow is super pigmented, holds on. If you go in with just a powder, sometimes it can like look patchy or it can be really hard to blend. Uh, you just want your black shadow to be as black as possible, you know what I mean? Like my nails and my heart. <laughs> I just can't get over how dark my under eyes are. Uh, okay. We're pretending that's not happening. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my lids using my Urban Decay uh, Original Priming Potion or whatever this is called. Just wanna make sure that we have a nice smooth base. I'm gonna take that just underneath my lower lash line as well. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this out on the back of my hand. And I'm going to pick that up with my Refer 02 brush. Ooh. I'm gonna buff this all along the lash line to begin with. I wanna place this in the area where I want the majority of the pigment. So all in the lid. I don't wanna take it in too far because I got some darkness going on. I do not want to accentuate. So I'm gonna take it to like the inner corner and then just kind of like buff around those edges gently. This is just a base, so it doesn't need to be perfect. We are gonna be going in with a black shadow, but you also wanna make sure that your edges aren't like so sharp, you know? Also keep in mind you are gonna be blending, which means you're gonna make the shape larger than it is. So you don't wanna take the cream out too far. Just wiping off my brush and then going in again and just kind of diffusing a little bit, just softening. Okay, and ideally you're looking down into a mirror. I would suggest using an eyeshadow primer before you do this. For me personally, if I do this on clean skin, sometimes it mixes weirdly with my moisturizer. Uh, it'll kind of like roll up and kind of pill. So just keep that in mind. And if you feel like you have a tendency to over blend or take things out a little too far, this kind of like patting and dragging motion really helps to blend those edges or soften those edges without taking everything out way too far. All right, for my black shadow, I'm gonna be using uh, the black shadow from the Wifey palette. This is from Shayla's collaboration with, oops. This is from Shayla's collaboration with Dose of Colors. And I'm gonna apply that with my Sigma E54 brush. So I'm gonna load up my brush and then I always have a paper towel nearby. I'm gonna really tap it off to make sure that I don't have like a ton of fallout. And then once again, I'm gonna start in the area where I want the most pigment. And I'm just gonna pat this all over. And as I get to the edges, kind of softening. We're not doing any blending yet, we're just setting. And repeating that process of just softening around the edges. 
And depending on your eye shape, you can keep this more round. You can make it more angled, more of a cat eye. What is happening outside? I promise you it's not gonna look this crazy forever. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to repeat the same process on the lower lash line. So now hopefully you can look up into a mirror and this you wanna keep kind of tight to the lower lash line. You don't have to smoke, don't be afraid to smoke it, but you don't have to smoke it super duper far. So I like to start by keeping it pretty tight to the lash line and then just like slowly blend it down because you can always go in and blend it more once you have like the rest of your makeup on. You also don't have to like make it smoky at all. You could just do a really clean lower lash line or keep it just, um, just in, it like really tight, not smoky at all. I like the smoke though. And I'm taking this all the way into the inner corner, but again, making sure that I'm not like taking it in here. And if you take it in a little bit too far, we're doing our face first, you can do some cleanup. I mean base, I mean eyes. <laughs> we're doing our eyes first. What? Now before I go in with my black eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with a black eyeliner. This is the Tarte Double Take uh, eyeliner. One end is liquid, one end is like a coal. So I'm gonna go into my waterline and really blacken that up so that I'm closing the gap between my waterline and my lower lash line. Now, I'm gonna use my Refer 28 brush. I'm gonna go in with that same black shadow and I'm gonna set all of that. Again, keep in mind that we're setting and softening and you don't need to take it out super far. But if you do accidentally, if you get fallout, we're gonna do cleanup. <laughs> well, we could just stop here. Okay, do you see all of this fallout that we have going on here? This is why I do my eyes first. Now, we're gonna clean that up taking a little um, makeup wipe from MAC. These are relatively gentle. I don't really use makeup wipes very often unless um, it's for this kind of thing. And around those soft edges, rather than swiping, I'm just patting. All right, I need to rehydrate my face where I removed stuff with my uh, makeup wipes. So I'm going in with a little bit of my Aven Cleanance Hydra, in particular underneath my eyes because I don't want that area to be dry. So I'm just patting. All right, now for the rest of the face, balance is gonna be really important. We have a really heavy eye going on, right? So uh, I want to keep my skin looking like nice and light, light coverage, not too much color, not too much boldness. Listen, you can do all those things, but if you feel like a smoky eye, a black smoky eye in particular, it's just like real heavy on you, keep these things in mind, or maybe give these things a try. Number one, I want to brighten up my under eyes a little bit, so I'm gonna go in with my Becca Under Eye Corrector. This is in the shade Medium. I just wanna counteract some of that grayness that can ha kind of happen. If you don't have dark circles, don't worry about this step. For my foundation, I'm gonna use Rare Beauty 170W, which is just one of my favorites. And I'm applying that with my Kosa sponge. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm applying a light layer all around my face. Cause I don't wanna build up too much coverage. We've got this matte heavy black eye. I don't want everything about my face to be matte or heavy, you know? I definitely feel like a lot of people tend to panic because it, this is like surgery, you know what I mean? Like it looks like murder halfway through. Uh, up until halfway through. And then when you start to apply your face products and then you can kind of like, you know, start adding a little bit more color to the face and start blending a little bit more, it starts to make sense and it looks a little less horrifying. Unless that's what you're going for and then more power to you. All right, now that I have a nice cohesive base, I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm gonna be using the, um, where did it go? The REM concealer. This is Light w 1WN. And I'm using a brush because I want precision and a light hand. So I'm gonna go in and blend with my sponge afterwards. I wanna make sure that I'm like blending around that black without actually touching it, you know, and creating gray. 
I need precision to be able to get in here. You'll find that if you do your eyes first, you actually don't need to take your concealer up too high. Right, and directly under my eyes, just patting so that I'm not removing that color corrector. I'm gonna go in with that sponge and just blend. Make sure all of that is pressed into the skin. Now in terms of doing the rest of your face, like your blush, your bronzer, your contour, you can pretty much do it the way that you typically would. Uh, I would say don't use a contour color that is way too cool and favor your bronzer over your contour because it is a cool color, which can bring out more cool tones, which could bring out more of that like panda under eye circle that you're trying to avoid. I would also say as far, as far as blush, try not to use anything that's going to be like too bright. Maybe stick to something a little bit more neutral uh, or a little bit more natural looking. So for my blush, I'm going to mix these two uh, products from Tarte, the Maneater Blush and Glow Cheek Plump. Uh, I'm gonna use Pink and Buff to create like a little bit more of a neutrally, somewhere in between. Um, I just didn't like how orangey this was, so I'm just gonna mix them. Just gonna do a little dab of each. So something kind of soft, but with like enough color, you know? So what I really want is that youthful, beautiful, clean looking skin, that nice glow without applying too many products because I don't wanna overwhelm the black eyeshadow that is already relatively overwhelming. <laughs> Are you excited to blend this? I'm excited to blend this. All right, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of powder to set underneath my eyes and just in my T-zone a little bit. My favorite trick for <laughs> making a black eyeshadow look not look like a panda is rather than going in with like now to finish everything off, rather than going in with like that black shadow to blend around the edges, uh, or even just like another eyeshadow, maybe something like a dark gray or even a brown, depending on if you want it to be a little more cool toned or a little more warm, using either your bronzer or your contour color. That's my trick. So I'm gonna be using my contour color. My favorite powder contour is the Wayne Goss. Radiance Boosting Face Palette. This is the lightest one. I'm gonna be using this shade right here, which is a beautiful contour color, but it's also not like so cool toned. It's not purpley. So I'm gonna grab a small blending brush because I don't want this to get too crazy. This is my Refer 14 brush and I'm going to pick up that contour color. I'm gonna tap that off and then I'm gonna use this to buff around the edges. I'm gonna start with this eye. So just very gently. Blending that into the black shadow. And you're gonna see we're gonna slowly be softening those edges. It's gonna lighten that edge just a little bit. And those colors are gonna mix on the skin so that it ends up looking like nice and soft and blended, but it's not going to be so like large and intimidating. See the difference between this side and this side? We've softened and lightened just like a little bit so that it's not too intense. I'm gonna show you the lower lash line so that we can compare both sides. Okay, so here's the difference, right? Now you might be saying like, uh, okay, cool. So I could just use like a lighter eyeshadow. The thing that's cool about using your contour color or your bronzer color is using something that's meant for the face is usually a little bit softer. It's not meant to be like super duper pigmented. So if you find that your smoky eyes just get like really, really heavy or you have a hard time because you just like build up pigment too quickly, using a face product is going to be a lot easier. It's gonna prevent you from like overdoing it and then ending up looking like a panda. You know what I mean? All right, next step for me, I love to brighten up my inner corner because that black shadow can make your, like the inside of your eyes look like really dark, especially if you're like me and you have like quite a bit of distance from the top of the bridge of your nose to like your inner corner. So I'm gonna use my little Refer 26 brush and I'm gonna apply a little bit of my Vesca Moonlight highlighter in my inner corner. This is a trick you guys know. It just makes 
such a big difference. Like I can't live without a shimmery inner corner. I just can't. Look at what it does. Totally changes, changes your anatomy. <laughs> just hitting right below my brows. Already did my face. Now brows. So I think that brows, unless you're already like dark, if you have dark hair, dark eyebrows, dark not lashes naturally, I think you can really get away with black smoky eye just because like your coloring is already relatively dark. Even if you have fair skin, but you have dark hair and dark brows, just makes a difference. For me personally, to balance this like black smoky eye, I like to keep my brows a little bit lighter, especially cause freshly bleached, <laughs> you know? Um, so a dark brow can sometimes just look a little bit harsh. Also love a dark brow. Do what, you know, suits you best, but I'm gonna keep it a little bit lighter today. So first I'm gonna go in with my Pears Soap to set my brow hairs. Once that's set, I'm gonna go in with my NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pencil in Taupe. Just fill in the sparse areas. And then for lips, I'm gonna line my lips with ColourPop Cool BFF Lip Liner and then finish off with my Auric Plush Ritual. All right guys, so uh, I just applied some mascara. You can obviously apply lashes, mascara, whatever, doesn't matter. Yeah, that's basically that. Uh, I use the Tower 28 mascara. I hope this video was helpful. I hope these tips helped you if you've been feeling very intimidated by a black smoky eye love a black smoky eye classic the main thing that you always want to keep in mind is that it's a lot easier to add to something than to take it away so starting off with a little bit of each and not blending it out way too much is always going to be preferable Pref -pre 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 preferable uh all right guys hope this was helpful let me know if you have any tips for wearing black eyeshadow or i don't know like if you like to wear it with a dark brow or a dark lip or what um yeah and let me know what you want to see next bye